Okay, got a bunch of pallets here. Kind of thinking about starting, uh, also it kind of reflected in the comments too. Starting a little cabin. Uh, now mine's going to be bigger than what I'm going to mention to you here. But see, this is one pallet already dismantled. And that's basically how much wood that you get out of one of them. I've got some wood laying around too, but okay. I was watching this uh, this uh, YouTube video series on this other channel called TA Outdoors, and uh, they took and built a cabin in the woods. It's a father and son. They did it together. It was more spending time together than really that much about the cabin itself. But they built a cabin using only free stuff uh they didn't spend any money on it and uh i want to try to do that uh, i'm going to try using pallets uh using some old wood that i've got around here maybe some sawmill slabs i mean i built a whole garage using nothing but sawmill slabs so uh, it's not that hard to build something for free uh, i have some roofing some metal for the roof, which I'm going to use that metal. Um, and we'll just see if we can build us a cabin. And uh, thanks for all the comments. Uh, it was kind of tied there between the four wheeler uh, camper, which I'm still going to do these other projects too. It's just which one first, you know. And I may actually be doing the other ones kind of at the same time because um, I may have to gather materials for the cabin or I may have to gather or find some materials for the little camper or the cargo trailer or, or, or the car haul or whatever you want to call it. Or, um, but I'm going to be working on all these, but the first one I'm going to start on right now is going to be this cabin. And today I'm just going to dismantle some pallets that I went and got and uh, try to go up and maybe scout where I'm going to put it, how big it's going to be, and stuff like that. Um, I'll put a link in the description to the channel of uh, PA Outdoors where they built this cabin. Uh, theirs was a little too small. It's too short. For one thing, you got to actually duck to get in. and um, I mean, it works, but I want mine taller, and I want it bigger too because it's it's basically a one-man cabin that they built uh mine's going to be you know big enough you know that you can have several people in there at one time you know that's my goal anyway and uh, i'm going to try to build it all for free using a lot of the methods that they used and uh just whatever i've got i've got a lot of stuff laying around here <laughs> uh i'm kind of a pack rat if you haven't noticed <laughs> but anyway I want to get to work on these pallets. Okay, there's about three of them took apart right here. Pretty good little pile of boards right here. Not too bad. I'm even saving the nails. I've got I've got plenty of nails actually. I'm just saving them just in case I need them. I don't know. This pallet is kind of beat up pretty bad already. 
So, uh, uh, it might go in the burn pile. I'm putting all the stuff to burn over by the wood stove. All right, well, let's go up and check out the build site for a second. All right, I think maybe I might put it right in here. There's Okay, this is going to be the location of the cabin. I'm using these two trees as the corners. I may actually use them. I don't know. <laughs> I thought about doing that one time before. Doesn't sound like a very good idea, though. It's going to come to about right in here. And I'm going to have to square everything up and all that. But basically, this is where it's going to be. Right in there. I can't really see it through the camera, but there's a stick there. And there's a stick there. And, of course, you can see the two trees. But, all right. I'm going to square them up on those two trees. That'll be the back. The front will sit wherever it squares up at. It's going to be 10 foot across. And about... Those trees happen to be exactly 10 foot apart. And it's going to be 12 foot this way. It's going to be a 10 by 12 cabin. That should be pretty good. Pretty good sized cabin. And, yeah. Where's your sister at? She's too lazy to walk up here, ain't she? He just don't, I don't know. He just don't look happy today for some reason. Hmm. What's the matter, Luke? Come here. You're wagging your tail, but you're not smiling. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you, huh? Yeah. It's all right. What's the matter with you? He just been acting weird today. I know they was playing a while ago, and uh, Daisy turned around and snapped at him, and ever since then, he's been uh, pouting. Funny part is, he's still wagging his tail, even though he's not acting happy. Nah, I don't know. I guess I got a moody dog. Are you moody? Yeah, you're moody, ain't you? Yeah. There you are. There you are. I think I see somebody down there too that I remember. Looks like a, about an 87 model Ford van. The solar panel's on top of it. Yep, right there it is. There's old Buster through the trees. There he is. Shakes kind of a little bit when it's zoomed in. Anyway, okay. Alrighty. Well, this is where it's all going to happen. Uh, I'm going to start on turning the pallets down. 
next step, of course, be getting the materials up here and uh, leveling everything out, squaring it up, and we'll get started on it. See what all we can get done. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.